Hey guys, just in here trying to blow away all the dead skin cells and flakes off everything. Kind of gross. So, today I want to talk about my Chevron. Get my favorite map to do. But I want to talk to you guys today about a pretty broad topic. And that is when you're mentally ill, you feel like you're in the world, but you're not of the world. You see, I'm at a point in my depression where I'm just kind of here, but I'm not. Like I'll go into a store, I can't look people in the eyes. Like have to look away. I don't want any contact with anybody. Like this guy was doing a survey outside the door to Smith's and it's grocery store. And it's like I just like rushed around him because he started talking to another guy. Because I'm like, I don't want him catching me. And then I made a point when I left the store to make sure I rushed out as quick as I could go so he couldn't catch my eye. Because I've done surveying before and I know what you look for and what you're looking for is somebody to look you in the eye and then that's your chance to jump at them and try to get them to listen to your little speech. But it's just how I've been for a while. Like I've been extremely fatigued and that's still the case. I'm tired as crap today. And I think that's a lot of the reason why I uh, am avoiding people. When you're th this depressed, you actually get fatigued having to interact. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people, when they are mentally ill, and especially when they're depressed, want to be alone and don't want to interact with other people. Because you see that interaction as something that's just going to take the energy you just don't have. And honestly, I think that's why I'm struggling so hard right now to work. And me and Zach here doing the buying groceries for people gig. But the thought of even going and sitting at a store and waiting to get an order just makes me tired as crap. Just thinking about it. And so I'm looking at other jobs as well that can make more money and I think, man, if I can't even sit with my own son in a parking lot without just being tired as crap and probably only doing that for a couple hours a day or even a week at this point, I'm in, I'm hating life. So that's kind of where I'm at. Everything every chore every responsibility the dishes i mean anything is just overwhelming to even think about right now so my cycle has been till about the end of february and i've shown some flashes of actually coming out of it i think i've been having a couple energy spikes lately i was telling the wife last night last week I actually had an hour where I was extremely manic, like I was going nuts. I was singing and dancing and acting like an idiot. And I could just feel the rapid thoughts and everything that comes with full-blown mania. I told Zach, dude, we got to record this because it ain't going to last. And sure enough, about an hour after it started, it was gone. And man, did I hit rock bottom real fast after that because it was using energy I didn't have. That's the crazy part of the mysteries of the bipolar brain. Why in the hell would I be dead tired with depression and have no motivation or energy or anything and all of a sudden have a crazy hour-long manic spike? And I haven't had one since, but I've kind of come and gone a little bit lately. I'm seeing signs. 
So hopefully soon I will be out of this depression. I've got to get out of it because, man, this sucks. Because like I said, the topic of the day, I just don't want to interact with people. And the main reason is I'm just too tired. Interaction takes energy, and when you don't have any, you avoid it. And that's just the way it goes on the road down by poor. All right, everybody. Hope y'all good. Um, hope you're feeling good. Told a couple people as far as this group I was thinking of starting. I am still just too tired and just... It's just not happening yet. So I don't know. We'll have to see on that. Alright guys, take care. Love you. Bye.